Hey guys, what are we all? Welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a general weekly love reading for the sign of Scorpio. This can resonate with your sun, moon, rising or Venus sign. Now I could be reading for yourself or for your love interest, the one that's on your mind. So please use your own discernment and flip the roles to however this best resonates with your situation. But please do not make the story fit. So if the reading resonates or parts of the message resonate, then that's great. If it doesn't resonate, then it's simply not your message. So please take what you feel fits and leave the rest, guys. So we're using three different decks of cards today. We're going to start off the reading with the Light Sears Tarot. Then we're going to use the Radiant Rider Waite Tarot to clarify and then close off the reading with the Romance Angels. So let's get into the read, shall we? Angels of Love and Light, we please have clear and concise messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. What do they need to know in relation to love for this week, please? And thank you. Okay. We have the Ace of Cups in reversal. Interesting. So I feel like this is more of a past energy. Okay. There may have been some disappointments in relation to love. I feel like you've been working on yourself here, doing a lot of healing. So incorporating more self-love, more self-care. I feel like you are putting yourself as number one right now, which I feel like is really important. I feel that potentially there's going to about there's going to be or there's about to be a major transformation in your love life. OK, so I feel predominantly we have the um, new moon in Scorpio coming up relatively soon, guys. And it's going to be like, a, I believe, a solar lunar eclipse or something along those lives. Um Wow, I was getting along those lines, but I was getting lives. So it's going to really impact your lives, okay? Um, I do believe actually as well, if you have the fixed sign placements quite strongly in your chart as well, um, this is going to affect you more so as well, okay? So Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius and Taurus energy. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be in your top four. So Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, but just those placements strongly in your chart, then that's going to really affect you guys as well. Okay. Um, but I feel like there's someone who wants to come forward, but they're scared of your rejection. Okay. As I say that with the chariot could be dealing with a cancer. This person does want to come forward, but they want to make sure that they do things properly with you. Okay. I'm getting that they may have not necessarily conducted themselves in the best of ways before and there was a lot of sadness to do with this you may have felt relatively disappointed you wanted to move on forward with this connection in the past but potentially it may have felt like it was unrequited love between the two of you but i'm getting that wasn't true okay that wasn't true this person does have love for you they do have care for you um they may be a bit overwhelmed with their emotions right now okay because all they want to do is bring balance to your connection but then at the same time, they are really struggling to kind of get their head around the fact that you most likely have all this love and care for them. And see my voice wanting to choke up a little bit. They're a little bit choked by it because the love that you give or their love that you gave was so um, freely given to them in the past that they may have felt undeserving of this. They felt unworthy of this, that you were giving this love to them. And so therefore you know, they may have pushed it away because they didn't know how to handle it or be open and receptive to the love that you gave. And now they want to come forward and give you of this love, but they're not sure you are now going to be open to the love that they want to give to you now. I know that sounds a bit wordy, but that's the way it's coming across, okay? Um, yeah, there may have been this person preempted um, rejection from you. They may have walked away they may have ghosted you, okay, with that eight of cups, things just went very silent. Um, this person is wanting to make sure that if they do come back around in your life, which I feel like they really want to, that they have left all the people, places and things that aren't serving of them and that they can come forward towards you. Um, I'm getting with a fresh bowl, <laughs> a fresh bowl of love, okay? Um, I'm getting a full a full bowl for that matter. They don't want to give you anything half here. They don't want to give you off something and it's all kind of spilling out the sides and it's, you know, not right. They just want to make sure that they have everything under control 
and that they balance their kind of logic and their emotions and they do things properly and they're not overly emotional but they're not overly logical and rational either like they have that kind of head and heart balance between the two when coming forward to approach you in this love okay they want to apologize here they want to give to you with that page of pentacles as i was literally just saying about the head and the heart decision we have the king of swords in reverse okay the king of swords when they're upright they're more in their head space rather than their heart space but with it coming up reverse all this person's getting more into their heart space rather than being in their head space so there is the balance and we have the chariot which is to do with balance as well to do with the yin and the yang the masculine the feminine to do with a sense of giving and receiving okay the sense of duality as we can tell with the black and white horses here okay so um yeah this person is really wanting to show to you that they do mean what they say and they're gonna say what they mean that kind of thing i'm picking up on that this person may have been a bit confused before as to why you gave what you gave to them in the past they may have not thought that you know um i'm getting they they thought that potentially what you were giving onto them wasn't true you weren't being genuine like you wanted something out of them like you had some sort of ulterior motive um potentially this person has had issues with trusting people in the past and they were very cautious around you but i feel like you openly gave to this person you didn't really have expect anything in return or i'm getting not very much in return anyway just the sense of common courtesy and for this person to open up to you and say how they felt but they didn't and i feel like there was a bit of immaturity on this person's part and i'm getting <laughs> i'm getting like immaturity and then i'm getting it underlined here um yeah big bold capital letters with italics underline immaturity um and i'm kidding you saying well that's an understatement so yeah i feel like this person kind of knows what they've done and they are very sorry and they want to come forward with a peace offering and they're hoping that you'll be okay able to hear them out because this person didn't express themselves look at this with the two of cups i mean i can't make it up guys this person wants to give to you because they have true love and true intentions for you but you didn't know of anything better because of the sense of whatever happened before yeah this person walked away or they ran away but i feel like they're now on the way back running towards you okay dealing with the sun could be dealing with a leo maybe even um, an air sign gemini libra or an aquarius so they have this strongly in their chart this person is stressed because they now see that you make them incredibly happy and if they are to have of anything with you then they need to speak up because they can't just stop thinking about you this person was immature before with that knight of wands in reverse they may have not wanted something um committed in the past and maybe they felt this kind of tone from you that you were only wanting something committed um that you were only going to tolerate something committed and they just were too immature to be able to cope with what you were going to be offering them so this person basically you know sacrifice their happiness of having a loving relationship a two-way loving relationship because they kind of played themselves basically because they told themselves a particular story that you weren't really genuine when actually you were and also they may have put you up on a little bit of a pedestal but then yet treated you like you weren't on this pedestal type of thing so you may have felt at one point less than but everything's been illuminated to this person that you know they can have this reconciliation with you if they just get out of their head and they come up with a workable plan to do right by you in this connection if they can get their words straight and they can come forward towards you you know not being so nonchalant okay or aloof if they were to show you a bit more of a a friendly side to them a more sensitive side to them a warmer side to them um then i feel like things would go down a lot better between the two of you if you were to have a heart to heart conversation and meet up etc etc okay um but obviously i feel like this person wants your forgiveness especially if they have really upset you which i feel like they have done and i feel like there was just like 
wires crossed between the two of you and a complete breakdown in communication and you know a lot of confusion in the mix okay so guys i do have um new single readings available um for new love if you're wanting of new love okay um for so for new soulmates um if you're recently dating of someone or you started dating um and you feel potentially a past life connection with this person then they could be you know in these new love single readings that i've got available on the channel which i'll put a link at the end um also um these new love single readings could be if you're dealing with a twin flame a divine counterpart divine masculine divine feminine energy and you may have never met this person in the 3d um and you feel this deeper connection and that's what this new love could be also sometimes with the new love readings um they can be um someone from the past coming back into your life and it feeling like brand new love because they have changed and transformed okay um, and there is a better energetic alignment between the two of you and it's going to feel like new love so that can come in there sometimes as well now obviously guys as you know i am just the messenger okay so what comes through is what comes through please do not, do not take the readings um personally they are general readings they are not sign specific they are for the collective and sometimes they may have you know messages that resonate for you and can be your story and sometimes they don't okay so it's, it depends on what comes out okay but not to take any of it personally but let's get into this anyway i feel like there's a lot of progression in this connection if you take things slowly with each other i feel a lot of you are dealing with a very high level soulmate maybe even a divine counterpart here okay I feel the energies are very potent um, for you guys right now. So if you've been feeling very emotional or maybe your person's feeling very emotional at this time, then obviously that's probably what's up here. And we are about to go into your birthday season. So I may as well wish you happy birthday as well, guys. So um, for when you do eventually see of this reading, OK, uh, sending love and light your way and hope you get a lot of chances to celebrate. OK. So let's get into this with Scorpio. What's going on here? Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, please. And thank you. Three of Swords. Hmm. Yeah, you have been heartbroken in relation to this. The Moon. See, very emotional here. And I just literally said about the new moon and then we have the Moon card come out. Okay. So Pisces energy and then Five of Cups with sadness. I mean, your love interest, I feel like this is predominantly their energy um they are going through it but they are not in letting you know of this they feel a bit all over the place their energy is very scattered but i feel like you kind of intuitively know of this four of swords in reversal and the devil coming out gosh capricorn energy with the hangman pisces energy let's move these cards up a little bit so you can see okay there's definitely been um, a breakup, a separation or a divorce here to do with the closing of a karmic contract, a karmic ending coming into play. Someone is just having a really rough time right now, but they've been illuminated um, to certain things. Whatever was hidden in the dark is now coming into light and they may have not wanted to admit the truth to do with something from their past, but... They can't just repress their emotions. They can't just kind of ignore what's going on. Two of Wands in reversal. Six of Swords in reverse. Yeah, this person's going through a major transition right now. And they're really struggling with doing this. But they're going through it. This person may be going through um, the, the dark night of the soul. Maybe even a spiritual awakening. Or they're trying to come out the other side. Page of Pentacles in reversal. I don't feel like they're giving into another connection or situation anymore. One more to go underneath that devil here, please. For Scorpio. The chariot, Cancer's energy. Well, we saw that earlier, didn't we? And the five of wands, wow. I'm getting 55 and 555. Five, five. You could be seeing of those numbers. We have the Emperor showing up, Aries energy. But also the divine masculine, if you're dealing with a divine counterpart, twin flame, four of pentacles. Then we have the queen of pentacles in reverse, the six of pentacles in reverse, the seven of cups, the eight of pentacles, 
nine of pentacles and the hangman and the nine of wands okay two of cups in reversal with the empress upright so yeah this person sees you as their um counterpart and you most likely see this person as your divine counterpart but you've had a lot of distance between you either physically emotionally not necessarily spiritually but it may other people places and things i'm getting um entities as well have been trying to interact with the connection to prevent it from moving on forward and so therefore you feel very much disconnected from one another even though you're not really in separation but you are in separation if you know what i mean um obviously you'll kind of know and understand it um what i'm getting at here so for some of you with that message okay um I feel like your love interest is wanting to come forward, okay? They're trying to strategize. They know that it's all to play for here for this connection. Um, they're battling it out here, potentially with a karmic partner or a karmic ex here, going through this breakup, the separation or the divorce because they know that it's a karmic contract. They know it's one-sided. They've been breadcrumbed. They've been used and abused. This person's trying to step into their personal power and not be taken advantage of um, i'm getting materially financially this person is working tooth and nail i'm getting on the quiet here to make sure that they can become self-sufficient i'm getting that they can provide um better for their family for their children and i'm also getting for you as well okay so i feel like this person wants to be your provider your protector um they want to be someone who can really embody this full kind of masculine divine masculine energy okay the sacred masculine energy but they were coming from more of a place of their wounded masculine in the past okay so they've got someone who's very clingy and codependent on them absolutely and this person is deciding look i'm not going to be someone who's going to be controlled okay um this person is trying to figure out a way out they may feel like they're going to lose a lot here but they would rather lose out on what they're going to lose out and have their sense of freedom and liberation than rather feeling the sense of enslavement and um, entrapment in another situation they know that whoever they're dealing with um, just wants to be kept by them to be a kept man kept woman not necessarily having to work or do of anything you know, kind of living the life of luxury and your person, you know, um, had their kindness taken for weakness in that other situation and they didn't set up firm boundaries and they followed through with what they were doing. They were overly giving to this karmic partner and the karmic ex and yet they weren't faithful um, and they weren't truthful to your love interest. And also um, they didn't have that sense of love and care and tenderness and warmth that you have for this person um but your person accepted very poor treatment elsewhere your love interest dreams of you and they feel this spiritual connection with you but they they didn't understand why you were always on their mind or why they were always dreaming of you even though you were not giving to them anymore in the physical and i'm getting in the physical i'm getting the sense of physicality so in the, the sense of the physicality of you, you know, they dream of you a lot. I'm getting the sense of they're highly tempted by you, okay? Very tempted by you, maybe even a little bit obsessed, okay? Maybe even a little bit possessive of you, um, of this connection. I feel like they're dealing with a karmic partner or a karmic ex or other people around your love interest who are very jealous of you, jealous of your connection. They may have been trying to do of things that they shouldn't have been doing to manipulate I'm getting the sense of um, like spiritual warfare. I'm getting the sense of magic. I'm getting a sense of dark magic to do with the occult here with the page of pentacles in reversal and the devil. So someone's very much obsessed with doing of something they were trying to control. Um, I'm getting someone's food, their intake. I just saw 2020 on the clock on my timer. Okay, 20 minutes and 20 seconds. So twos could be highly significant. But also I'm feeling maybe since 2020, someone has found out about you, a karmic partner or a karmic ex, and they've been trying to manipulate a certain thing to prevent your person from healing and moving on forward and getting them to feel stuck and heartbroken. And, and I'm getting to feel powerless, to feel less than, to not feel good enough, to not feel worthy, to not feel 
like they're ever going to make it out of where they've been at, that they were um, getting damaged goods, that they were never going to be enough for anyone else. So why would they bother fighting to get out of situation? But we all know that that's absolute rubbish. OK, so your love interest is now finding that fight within them and they're overcoming what they're needing to and they're asserting boundaries and whoever else that they're dealing with okay um is upset right now and there i'm getting putting on a show these sense of crocodile tears to your love interest to make sure that your love interest falls for this to keep them bound in a situation but your person is seeing past all of that and i feel like they're seeing past all of that because they're getting more in touch with their intuition and they're receiving downloads in their dreams and information about you about the connection with you and the significance of it but also whoever else that they've been dealing with they've been revealed certain things pieces of information about other people in their life who are frenemies okay frenemies and i'm getting energy vampires as well okay so this is really serious guys okay but they are letting go of all of these people these uh i'm getting cutting the cords cutting the cords so we're going to look into the moon, which is Pisces energy, the devil, which is Capricorn, and the chariot, which is Cancer. So what can we get here, please, for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What do we have here? Just checking that everything's kind of all right on the camera. What do we have here for the moon, for Scorpio? What's this about, please? Page of Cups. Yeah, this person's dreaming of you. They're dreaming of what it would be like to come forward with an offer. I feel like this is quite an idealistic person, guys. They wish that they could charm you, okay? Not in, like, in a manipulative way. They just want to be able to charm you. Like, they can't come across as quite a charming person. Nine of Swords in reverse. Strength in reverse. Leo energy. What's to go underneath this page of cups? The tower in reversal, Aries and Scorpio energy and justice. So Libra energy. We're currently in Libra season, but we will be going into your season shortly. Okay. So balance is coming in. Balance is coming in for you both. This person is trying to gain their sense of spiritual strength here so that eventually they can speak up. But also they're trying to pick up the pieces to do with something else or someone else here that they've had to be firm. I'm getting put a firm hand to on another situation before it gets out of control. What else here? Eight of Wands. And one more. It's gone underneath the strength in reverse. Page of Swords in Reversal with the Fall in Reverse. Could be dealing with an Aries and the Wheel of Fortune in Reverse with the King of Cups and the Three of Swords. Okay. So this person is very emotional. Okay. They are holding themselves back with the amount of pain that they're feeling. Um, I feel like they're trying to detach and cut ties from a particular person or multiple people for that matter who are most likely codependent on them they are trying to receive um downloads here of information but they're they're not getting as tapped in as they potentially need to be okay um so they're not they're not quite leveled up yet in a sense of spirituality like they're they're, they're needing to take more time to get grounded they're too emotional right now so they're not necessarily interpreting the messages clearly or if they're receiving of these messages, they're not writing them down. They're not discovering what these um, mean. And so therefore, there are delays in your connection moving on forward. There's holdups and setbacks because they're not taking the time that's necessary to interpret the important information that they're being given. I'm getting to help them get out of this sense of stagnation um, and so that they can have all the answers that they need to escape okay why is the devil here this person's very passionate about you too very passionate they can't stop thinking about you they know that other people are kind of around 
this person I feel is very much in love with you with that king of cups but they may not be able to give to you in the physical right now with the ace of pentacles in reverse potentially they feel like they've missed out on an opportunity with you I'm getting because potentially they were quite reckless in the past I'm getting the sense of ignorance for some reason for some of you five of swords what's going on here with that devil Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Three of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. I feel like there was someone else, a karmic partner or a karmic ex here most likely, that was lying to your love interest, trying to keep the foundation with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Or they were living a relatively happy life, okay? They were living the life of luxury. But they weren't necessarily interested in anything physical um, with your love interest. Like, they weren't in love with this person. I'm getting in a sense of in physical. Like, they weren't even um, intimate anymore. Or they tried to use the sense of intimacy to keep your person but your person's not interested nine of cups in reversal they're very selfish here and there was unrequited love with the knight of cups in reverse i literally just said just now that they weren't interested they didn't love them and look the seven of swords with the knight of cups in reversal and the seven of wands so your love interest is found out and they're healing from i'm getting psychic attacks so with this devil and the five of swords your love interest is being protected they're being protected right now. Could be seeing lots of threes here with that three of cups and the three of wands. I'm getting that this comic partner of the comic ex or whoever else was around in your person's life was overindulgent here. Okay. They were overindulgent. Why is the chariot here? Could be dealing with an Aquarius, guys. Two of Cups in reverse. Three of Swords in reverse. We have it upright. Now we have it in reversal. And then look, three, three, three. As I said that just now. Judgment in reversal. Sagittarius energy with the Magician. So basically your person is wanting to go through this separation, this breakup, this divorce elsewhere, heal of their heart, and they don't want to ignore the call anymore to manifest this connection with you. Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio energy. They're on the way here with the Knight of Wands to show you how they feel for you very passionately. Okay. This person knows that you're guarded. They know that you have your swords up here. Queen of Cups in reversal. Yeah. This person knows that you have been very sad by what has happened here. But this person ultimately wants to make it up to you here with that Ten of Cups. And that's why they think and feel that it's worth fighting for, for growing through what they're going through. But they've realized that they can't dwell on the past. They're hoping that you don't dwell on the past. Okay. This person knows that they made a poor judgment by, I'm getting, picking the wrong partner, by staying in a situation that wasn't right for them, okay? This person knows. But I feel like there has been a lot going on outside of your connection um, that has intervened a lot in preventing you both having this kind of connection together with the Five of Cups. And the Knight of Cups in reversal with the Five of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles in reversal. Okay. Yeah. So I feel like your person could be battling it out right now with someone long term. That they live, someone they live with, someone they may have children with. Okay. They're putting a distance with this person. I feel like they, they may open up and say to you, look. They dealt with a very hot and cold relationship, okay? 
Um, this person was highly manipulative. I feel like your person is full of regret. They may be grieving um, a situation from their past because they now know and recognize that they were potentially living a lie. They were most likely living a lie. And they know that they've had to make these massive changes in their life, but they could be quite a proud person here. I'm getting, why me? Why me? Why did I go through this? So this person for a while was potentially in victim mentality. Um, they didn't want to take on board the kind of karmic lessons and see the bigger picture of what they were going through and why they were going through it. But I feel predominantly this, this person is knowing that it's all for their highest good and they're wanting to fight for this connection because they know that they could have true emotional fulfillment with you. They're, I'm getting their true blue partner, their true counterpart. You know, the one that was, I'm getting made for me. They know and feel that you were made for them. They feel like you're meant to have this twin flame union and that yes, you've had to go through, um, I'm getting a lot of shadow work here and kind of have an ego death and go through the sense of spiritual warfare and psychic attacks and everything else that has tried to make you kind of weaker, but it's only going to end up making you stronger at the end of the day. But it certainly doesn't feel like it at the time. It certainly doesn't feel like it at the time. But I feel predominantly that this person um, knows that you're kind of worried about whether they're going to turn up or not. And they want to kind of ease your mind and say, look, actually, um, I am on the way. We will have our new beginning. I am knowing and recognizing what this connection is. I will travel to see you. I will reach out. I'm sorry that I haven't come forward as of yet. I'm trying to muster up the courage to make sure that I can close off what's deemed necessary for you and I to have this new beginning. I don't want to come forward and bring you a load of drama. That's the last thing that I want to do. I feel like this person is, you know, potentially learning about um, jealousy as well. Okay, maybe this person sees that you may have other people in your life wanting to come forward and pursue of something with you in a very passionate manner. And this kind of really chokes your person up because, you know, they want to be able to move the connection forward with you. They don't want someone else to kind of swoop in here. Um, this person may feel that you belong to them as much as they belong to you and they just want to give of themselves to you as much as potentially you want to give yourself to them. Um, I feel predominantly that this person um, may be holding back in the relation of, you know, celibacy here. Maybe you've been doing of this. You haven't been interacting with um, many people or you haven't really been out dating much. You may have not felt like in the emotional space to go out and date in the past. You may have felt like it was more important to kind of just be in your, on your own for a little while. And I feel like things are really changing and transforming for you in relation to that. And new love is on the way if you are wanting it with someone else, but also this person coming back in to show you that they, you know, um, deem this connection to be really important to them. Yeah, what can we get here for the romance angels? What can we get here for the romance angels? Please, for Scorpio. I'm getting the indication that this person may open up and say to you that they've been dealing with someone who's been very like melodramatic here, okay? A bit over the top. What can we get if Scorpio? Worth waiting for, divine timing is at work in your love life, yeah. This person hopes that you will wait for them as much as they want to wait for you. They really want this connection to come into fruition. They know it will be worth it. Soulmate, yes, is this, this is your soulmate. What else here for Scorpio? 
Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Yeah, this person wants you and them to heal. And passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. This person carries a lot of passion for you. They wish that they could just contact you, call you, you know, have the capability to actually speak up and tell you how much they want this connection with you and not be scared to open up. Past life relationship, you've known each other before. Yeah, this person feels something more with you as well than the chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction between you, very much so. One more card, please, for Scorpio. Wedding. The situation involves marriage. Yeah, this person envisions yourself and them getting married. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Let go of control issues and trust and stay optimistic with true love. Okay. So potentially this, this love interest, um, they may be receiving signs and synchronicities ab about this connection. Okay. They're receiving downloads here that you potentially have already been married or you're already married in spirit. Okay. And that they need to take control of their life by making these particular changes and trusting and knowing that you and this person will get together when the timing is right. But also what I'm feeling is that they've been receiving messages that potentially this karmic partner, the karmic ex has been trying to tie them down to get them married um, so that they are kind of tied in with a soul tie with this person. Okay where there's a strong sense of manipulation, they're trying to do off something. But also if this person, um, you know, was married to this love interest and they've gone through the breakup, the separation or the divorce, they want you to be able to forgive them for what they went through. Um, they knew it wasn't right. They felt something. They may have not necessarily known of this when they went to go and you know, consciously, they weren't necessarily aware of this when they were getting married to this person, or they were in this long term commitment, or they made this decision to move in together or whatever, I'm getting more on the lines of like, <sighs> this person on a soul level, on a soul level, they knew that they had to complete something karmic in nature. And they went through what they went through. But they were most likely, you know, not meant to stay with this other person in this other situation. It was meant to have its kind of time limit run its course. And they're needing to have the sense of forgiveness and learn from the situation from themselves about what they kind of got themselves into. But it was all part of their path on a bigger scale. And it's helped with the sense of the evolution of their soul, but also the connection of where has gone on between the two of you has helped evolve your soul as well. And you've had to deal with what you've had to deal with, but it's only making you a stronger, stronger person now. Wow, that was really deep, guys. But this person visions their life with you and they're hoping that you can heal. They are very sure on you. But you may be looking at this person a little bit hesitant. But I feel like that's because there has been hurt in the past. But I feel like you've done enough work on yourself for you to kind of have that next kind of stage. I'm getting that next stage, the next sense of level up of what's to come next on your journey with this person and why they're in your life in the first place. Yeah. But anyway, guys, wow very deep reading, um, lots of different messages. So obviously, please only take what you feel resonates and leave the rest as this is a general reading. Um, and I'm reading for a, 
a wide audience here. So obviously, please only take the messages that you feel that resonate and leave the rest, okay? But I hope you have enjoyed this reading as much as I've enjoyed reading for you today. And if you have enjoyed this reading and you did fancy supporting myself and the channel, there are donation links available. So thank you so much. Um, even if you do not financially donate, a great way to energetically donate is to like, share, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll eventually get back to you guys on those comments. So thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful week. Please take care of yourselves and we'll speak to you very soon. Many blessings. Bye guys.